This is the second part of the two-part video demo for installing Optim Performance Manager and Extended Insight. In the first demo, we learnt about Optim Performance Manager architecture, the installation of the product and the activation of the license key on an AIX machine. In this demo, we will learn about Extended Insight architecture and how to install and configure the Extended Insight client to monitor DB2 call level interface, JDBC and WebSphere applications. First, let's quickly review the architecture of Extended Insight. The Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight feature contains a server component and a client component. The Extended Insight Client component is collocated with the database applications that access the monitored DB2 database. Depending on the application type, the Extended Insight Client hooks into JCC, .NET or DB2 call level interface drivers, intercepts database traffic for the monitored database and collects response time data about transactions and SQL statements. This data is then periodically forwarded to the Extended Insight Monitoring Server which then stores it in the repository database. The Extended Insight Monitoring Server is one of the three sub-components of the Extended Insight Server component which is embedded in the repository server of Optim Performance Manager. There is one Extended Insight Monitoring Server available per monitor database for which Extended Insight Monitoring is configured. The other two sub-components of the Extended Insight Server are the Extended Insight Controller. This is a global controller that listens on a port for Extended Insight clients that are accessing the controller. The controller also knows about all available Extended Insight Monitoring servers. We will specify a port number for the controller when we activate Extended Insight on Optim Performance Manager and when we configure Extended Insight Client later in this demo. There is one set of metric collectors available per monitor database for which Extended Insight Monitoring is configured. The metric collectors collect additional information about the transactions and SQL statements directly from the monitor database Combine the collected data with the data that the monitoring server receives from the Extended Insight clients and store the data in the repository database. With Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight, we can quickly identify performance issues by monitoring database response time as seen by the application. To use Extended Insight, first we must activate the Extended Insight server components by applying a license to the Optim Performance Manager server using the Extended Insight Activation Toolkit. This activation also enables the display of detailed metrics for workload management, another feature that is available with Optim Performance Manager. Next, we need to install the Extended Insight Client on the system where the monitor database applications reside. The Optim Performance Manager server and the Extended Insight Client can be on the same or different machines depending on where the monitored applications are. In this example, we will install the Extended Insight Client on a different AIX machine than the one with Optim Performance Manager installed. There are two packages that are needed for Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight. Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight License Activation Kit. This is to enable the Extended Insight feature on the Optim Performance Manager server. Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight Client Software. Depending on the platforms and the part numbers for each of these packages, there are different files after we unzip or untar them. In this example, we are showing the contents of these packages for the AIX platform on which we are going to install. Now, let's walk through the installation process of Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight feature. Because we will use a graphical user interface for the installation, we need to have X Windows Server software on the server and X Client software on Windows to connect to the server. 
Alternatively, if the system does not have a graphical user interface, we could install using the console mode. Logged in as root on the AIX machine, where Optum Performance Manager was earlier installed, we invoke the active EI bin. Next, we select to activate the Extended Insight license and also to configure communication properties for the Extended Insight controller. Next, the installer detects and lists the valid copies of Opt Performance Manager that are installed on the system. We choose the copy for which we want to activate the Extended Insight feature. If the copy is not in the list, we can click Browse to specify the installation directory where Optum Performance Manager resides. Next, we specify the host name of Optum Performance Manager and a port number which will be used for communication between the Extended Insight controller and the Extended Insight client. The installer detects that the valid host name of Optum Performance Manager and uses as the default value. The default port number is 60,000. In this example, we change the port number to 9999. The specified port number should be available for use and not blocked by a firewall. On the Optum Performance Manager and Extended Insight Client Systems, the host name and port number that are used to establish communication between Extended Insight Client and Server are saved in the pdq.properties files. This information on both the client and server must match so that they can communicate successfully. Review the activation summary and click next to complete the activation. Finally, the complete activation panel shows that Extended Insight is activated successfully and shows the log file location for more details if needed. Now, that Extended Insight has been successfully activated on the Optum Performance Manager server, let's move on and install the Extended Insight client where the monitored database applications reside. In this example, we install and configure the Extended Insight client on a different AIX machine. There are few prerequisite tasks we must complete before installing and configuring the Extended Insight client. First, the repository server has to be started. Second, if we want to configure monitoring for WebSphere JDBC applications, this WebSphere application server that's used for the JDBC applications has to be started. The JDBC driver has to be set up in the corresponding WebSphere application server. For details about how to set this up, refer to the URL shown here. Let's walk through the installation of the Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight Client using the wizard on an AIX system. From the directory of the Extended Insight installation image, we launch the installation wizard by invoking IBM OPMEI v4101 AIX.bin. We proceed through the introduction panel and the software license agreement panel. Next, we specify the path where we want to install the product and click Next. Review the information on the pre-installation summary screen and click Install. When installation is complete, we see a screen that indicates installation was successful. Extended Insight is now installed on the client. Select Open the Configuration tool and click Done to move on to the configuration. If we didn't want to configure now, we could do it later by executing the configtool.sh for Unix or configtool.bat for Windows. From the initial configuration panel, we have the option to select the types of applications including call level interface, JDBC, WebSphere applications that we want to monitor. In this example, we will select all of the application types. In the Configuration Tool panel, enter the host name or IP address of the Optum Performance Manager and the port number of the Extended Insight Controller with which the client communicates. We already specified these values during activation of the Extended Insight in Step 3. If we don't have the port number handy, then we can obtain it from the pdq.cmx controller URL parameter in the pdq.properties file which is located on the Optum Performance Manager machine. 
To configure extended insight for call level interface applications, we must specify the call level interface driver that's being used by the monitored call level interface application. The configuration tool attempts to find the db2ds driver.cfg driver configuration files that are available on the system. If the tool cannot find the driver that needs to be configured, we can click on browse and specify the path to the driver. The configuration tool modifies the configuration file and completes the call level interface configuration. To configure extended insight for WebSphere applications, we need to provide credentials to connect to the WebSphere application server. This information is required to update the WebSphere JDBC provider so that the WebSphere applications can be monitored. The SOAP port is required and the other fields are only required if we have security turned on for the copy of WebSphere application server. Note that this WebSphere application server that's used for the JDBC applications is a different server than the one that's used for the Optim Performance Manager web console. The default SOAP port number is 8880. To determine the port number that's being used for the WebSphere applications, we could either contact the WebSphere administrator or check the port def.props file in the WebSphere application server. Secure communication takes place between the client and server using SSL keys. The WebSphere application server SSL trust store file contains the decoding key which is used by the server to verify that the signature of the client matches the server and is trusted. Next, to collect extended insight data for JDBC applications, we need to specify the JDBC providers that correspond to the database. The class path for the JDBC provider will be updated so that Extended Insight can monitor the JDBC applications. Next, we could identify the monitor database here and let the configuration tool verify that it has been properly configured. In this example, because we did not yet set up any databases for monitoring, after installation of Optim Performance Manager in part 1 of the demo, we will skip this validation. Finally, we review the information and click configure to continue. If we decide to change any information, we can go back to the previous screens using the previous button. After the configuration is completed, the finish screen indicates that the tool has configured JDBC, call level interface and WebSphere application successfully. If you are using WebSphere Application Server version 6 for our applications, an additional configuration step is required. In the WebSphere Application Server console, under Data Sources, we must add a custom property for Enable End-to-End -end Monitoring Feature Parameter and set it to True. Optim Performance Manager Extended Insight is now installed and configured. We could now set up and monitor database application performance using the Optim Performance Manager web console. The product includes an extended insight sample program that we could run against a monitor database to validate the configuration and see how the monitoring works. For more information about installation of Optim Performance Manager and extended insight for other deployment types, refer to the red book here. For more information about Optim Performance Manager product offerings and IBM InfoSphere Optim community, visit us on the web here.